What's up, Nova Open family? Tonight we're here with Clay. He is an instructor, he's a vendor. He's also going to be contributing to the raffle. Thank you for being with us, Clay. How are you this evening? Doing well, and thank you for having me. <laughs> so Clay, tell us about your involvement with the Nova Open. Um, we also wanna know about your studio, and um, it sounds like you have an amazing project that you're working on for the Nova Open Charitable Foundation raffle. So why don't you tell us about all of that? Um, well, uh, my studio is located in Huntsville, Alabama. Uh, which, by the there. way, small world, we're from Birmingham, Alabama, yeah. which is crazy. So we'll have to hang out sometime. Bunch of Alabamians here, it's cool. That's awesome, yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, located in Huntsville at the Low Mill. Uh, we've been there for about seven years now. Um, we're a commission studio, retail studio, um, we do classes out of there. We recently expanded um, three years ago to have a classroom set up and we have airbrush stations. We have a big compressor in there that runs all those. Um, we've had guest artists coming out like Aaron Lovejoy um, and we have Sergio coming out in the fall. Um, but the, uh, the big project that we're working on is the Warlord Titan. Um, we have uh, accepted the offer. Um, I, uh, Dave Taylor was the one that uh, recommended us to Nova to, to, to do that. And we set that up in December. Um, took me about a week to uh, finally commit. And yeah, just a it. casual offer to, to build and paint a Warlord Titan, right? No big deal. Yeah, it was, it was a surprise um, uh, over, over the phone. I, I, don't, I think I didn't speak for about a minute when uh, I was told that. Um, just kind of dumbfounded at the fact that can I do this? Um, <laughs> like, you mean Adeptus Titanicus, right? That's what you were thinking. Right, yeah. yeah. I'll give me a small one. Yeah, I can do that. Whip that out. Um, but no, it's um, six months to um, assemble and complete the Warlord, all, all the while documenting the process and uh, doing some tutorials along with it. So a lot of work ahead. Um, just started about two weeks ago. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. So tell us about the theme you're going for. I imagine you've got some really cool ideas. Yes. Um, the theme. Um, so when I was approached uh, to do the Warlord Titan, the main charity that I was told about was uh, Doctors Without Borders. Um, so after um, about a month of thinking about it, I came up with um, theming the Warlord toward that. The... Um, the, the sisters chapter, the hospitalers, um, really kind of spoke to me along with that. I was kind of toying with apothecaries, things like that. But the sisters, um, you know, they have some really cool artwork and uh, inspiration uh, that goes with it. So the warlord's actually going to be white marble armor plating with scenes of the sisters throughout the Imperium um, oh, working okay. their, their healing magics. Um, and then uh, cherry blossoms along with that signifying um, the, the fragility of life that goes along with living in the Imperium. I'm sure it's more fragile <laughs> in the 41st no millennium than it is now. But, um, <laughs> so will you be doing, um, but, but yeah. so you're doing this entire project yourself? Yes. Um, originally, uh, when I approached my studio and my artists with the idea, I had a few, you know, jump forward and say that they would help out with it. But at the same time, um, about a week later, we had three armies walk through the door. Um, so those are <laughs> now kind of the main focus for, for my studio artists and getting those out and making sure that um, things come out in a timely manner. Um, but the, uh, the Warlord is now a solo effort for the most part, <laughs> for well, for 100%. That's incredible. Um, that is a massive endeavor. Yes, it is. That is just incredible. So tell us about the painting classes that you're going to be doing at Nova. Um, so um, I have eight um, total events that I'll be doing, seven of which are classes, um, one panel. The panel is how to tackle a Warlord Titan. Go figure. Um, <laughs> Yeah, um, so the part of the uh, assembly process, like I said, is you know research, recording, so I'll have information for people so I can answer questions while I'm there about that. Um, the classes I have, I have two uh, introduction to airbrushing classes. Um, one advanced airbrushing class. Um, 
<laughs> hey, the Nova Open is a family event, so all members of the family are welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Bath time here at the uh, Williams residence. So, um, <laughs> um, you have uh, painting patterns, uh, introduction to freehand, um, fast layering, which is a technique that I've been de developing for a few years and trying to share with the community. Um, I think there's a, a a private or a painter's choice class. So it's a, a four person class or six person class where um, they can they can decide what they want to learn from me. So they get a very personal um, atmosphere with that class sort of, you know, not necessarily a coaching class, but uh, more more attuned to higher level techniques. Very um, nice. So yeah, almost kind of like a VIP experience in a way. Right, yeah. Right. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Very cool. So tell us more about uh, your experience with the Nova Open. Because you said you just recently were asked to um, take on that commission. How long have you been involved with the Nova Open? Um, since December, since I committed to doing the Warlord Titan. Um, I'm, I'm kind of familiar with the Nova, having heard and seen pictures and things of the event. Um, being a, a Warhammer enthusiast myself, um, not getting to play as much, you know, seeing it from afar uh, <laughs> for the past few years. But. You're jumping in like aggressively with all the classes you're teaching and this massive project for the Nova Open Charitable Foundation, which is fantastic. Yeah. Because I know that is going to be a really hot item and that's going to draw tons of support for those charities and for Doctors Without Borders. So I definitely commend you for that because I know you look at that and it's like, wow, this is a massive undertaking. But it well, is something really special you're doing right. and contributing. It's, it's nice to be able to give back to the community after our studio has been successful over mm -hmm. the past few years. And as, as it grows, um, I'd like to do more things like this for the community. Um, but what a way to jump into it, right? Right. <laughs> well, this being your first experience with Nova and you knowing a little bit about the event, what are you most looking forward to when you get there and kind of experiencing, experiencing it for yourself? Um, well, seeing the people that are involved in that community that I haven't been able to meet before. I know there are people that don't have the opportunity to travel as much um, and get out. And it, it's nice to be able to come to their hometown and, uh, um, see them. I, I have friends up there that you know have moved that direction. It'd be nice to see them again because it's been several years. Um, but but yeah, just just getting a taste of that environment. And plus, you know, every every time you go to a, a new tournament, you can see all the new armies and all the cool stuff that people oh, bring. Yeah. So. Well, I think you're going to find that is it, it is an event that really speaks to you because it truly is a family environment. I know we say that all the time, but everyone that comes together, mm -hmm. whether that's the people putting it on, um, attendees, everyone involved really has this like amazing relationship with each other and how we all engage with the hobby. And I believe you're going to find that to be um, a really place to be for that entire event. Yeah. So... Tell us where we can find you online. Well, it's uh, pretty easy to find us. We have a unique name, uh, Mastermind Models and Miniatures. If you Google that, uh, the first link is our website. Um, after that, um, m3paints.com forward slash Facebook forward slash m3paints.com, um, YouTube, M3 Studios. Uh, Twitter is uh, at m3paints. Instagram, M3 Studios again, so back and forth. Some names were taken. Um, and then on Reddit, it's uh, my very old handle. It's um, Malcavius, which you can't change your name on Reddit. And I've had that one for 10 years. So <laughs> I that's history. It. Yep. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, I'm sure plenty of people will want to track you down and follow along with this amazing project Absolutely. you are working on. And um, we can't wait to see it. It sounds Absolutely, amazing. Yeah. I'm definitely going to have to put some tickets in on that one for mm -hmm. sure. Uh, but until then, um, we will be looking forward to getting to meet you at the Nova Open. We hope you have an awesome night. We'll talk to you soon. You as well. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you.